Welcome to RegisTicket.com. Today we're going to get into some examples of the RTT Trampower OBV. Here's the reference to previous videos to the, for, via the website. The RTT Trampower moves based on a combination um, of these factors. A, ho a higher or lower close, the position of the close on the range of the bar, the volume relative to the uh, previous 21 days volume. All these factors add positive and negatives to the movement of the indicator. When you review RTT Trim Power ABV with uh, price, just take an uh, eyeball caption of the action the wave, the pattern, the range, the volume, and compare it to the direction, speed, and the level and divergences in the attitude trim power OBV. We're trying to catch the Richard Wyckoff viewpoint of follow the waves of price and volume. And when you're looking at the um, price action to the indicator, if you want to sort of say, well, price has sort of moved this much, that's one unit, has the RTD trim power OBV moved an equal unit, a lesser unit or more than unit? So you're trying to gauge whether um, it's a one-to-one -one or one-to-many or one-to-few. In a previous video, um, there's examples of how to use other technical tools, 100 EMA, percentage of price oscillator, the trend status, to help compare um, price action to the RT trend power OBV, to sort of get an idea of this one-to-one -one or one-to-many, one-to-few relationship. What we're going to do in this video is go through these examples I've demonstrated here in text. I'll go through and show you physical examples of bullish example. The bearish view is the inverse of the bullish. And you pretty much um, go through that yourself. I'm going to show the bullish case here in detail. Right, let's get into it. The first bullish example. Price trend is up and we have a pullback. Indicator that pulls back less units than price. This means selling is light, so no serious selling. In the Wyckoff world, we want to see price move up with volume on the upside and less volume on the downside. A natural swing. Ford is a good example of this. Here we have price swing up, good solid move, pulls back to here. As you can see, price gets pretty close to the 100 EMA. The 100 EMA is um, comparable to the zero line on the attitude trend power ABV. And as you can see, the indicator hardly sells off. It means the volume is light during these red bars. And more so when the close is below the range. In a situation here, it's a blue bar and the close is below the range. So the selling is not really substantial. And you can see there that it's highlighted by a few of the red bars below the um, average line down here. That's an example of one. Two bullish example. The price trend is up. Price pulls back. But the indicator pulls back on many units in price. This means the selling is heavy, but more importantly, the selling is being absorbed. Bulls are buying of what all is on offer. So, so here we have, this would be a situation of having strong selling and a pullback. Here's an example of um, PFE. Here we have, um, we had a trend up. And during the course of this pullback, we get some very large volume. Very strong selling in these red bars, lower closes. As you see the indicator over time, this is the 100 EMA, it goes a bit past it, but here it really smashes down lower. So here we have the indicator showing the volume relationship of the price very aggressive to the downside, but here it just doesn't take out support. But here we, there it does, so we have divergence as well. The truth is all this selling has been absorbed. So some people are um, taking profits or making a decision to get out of the stock and there's some real heavy selling. The buyers are saying, I'm having some of this, thank you very much. They're buying it up. 
even though there's a bit more absorption here. So this is a very bullish arrangement so when you see buyers turn up when selling is going on. It's an example of two. Example three. Immediate price trend is up and the indicator moves higher with equal units of price. The price advance is most likely supported by solid average volume Okay, this is a controlled advance of price. Here we have um, Yahoo. Here we have a solid move up. And you can see it's pretty much a one-to-one -one movement going on there. So it's a solid controlled advance. Pretty much the same that goes here as well. Obviously Yahoo has been... Um, bestowed with good news with the new CEO and new action going on the company. That's a pretty good a one to one relation price is going up. So is the um trend power OBV. A one to one. That's example of three. Ford example. How the overall price trend is up, however price is moving down on average volume the indicator is moving down with equal units. This is where you have a solid sell down and it pushes hard down quite aggressively. However, the sell down, the aggressive sell down move is trumped by an equal bullish move up. This is where the indicator might fall down to minus 15 or to zero on hard volume and then reverses up. This was seen quite a few times on Apple but for example here's an example here we have a sell down on Apple but the indicator goes down on a one-to-one -one. that's pretty good but it goes beyond here for example that's the that would be the zero line here on price to the 100 EMA but it keeps on going this is actually a hard sell down the volume is substantial but as you can see the action is just as hard or positive buying on the upside. So powerful selling was met with powerful buying. This is the game of um, trumps. That's an example there. Bullish example five. Price trend is down, then price moves moves up. The indicator moves up near equal units to price. That means we have a solid buying that is controlled in the up move, but it's actually happening against the overall downtrend. This is actually planned accumulation. It may not lead to a decent move immediately, but this is telling you that um, money managers, money managers are actually uh, doing planned accumulation. For example. This is uh, the gold stock HL. It's a silver miner, I think. But, uh, many downtrends. Here we have a solid move here. It's a one to one move. You see it goes up. Pretty much a one to one move. This goes back to the 100 EMA. It doesn't quite get over the zero line, but it uh, gets pretty close. That's solid buying. So you can sort of see that's a planned execution of stock. Here is even another powerful move. Uh, so this move here not so good because here it got over the 100 EMA but this indicator got nowhere near the 100 EMA. This move was solid buying straight up to 100 EMA. As you can see it didn't really lead to a bullish move. But it is the start of the of the um, end of the downtrend. Strong moves on average volume against the trend is a sign of um, either accumulation or distribution. It must be watched. For. Number six. Price trend is down, and we actually have a selling climax. The actual. RTG trend power OBV extends to the downside more units of price. This means volume is extreme and beyond selling is actually being met with strong buying. 
for example here we have the largest volume on the sell side that's actually a climax there selling climax there the indicator smashes down on a one-to-one -one and it exceeds due to the large volume this is bullish because buyers are stepping in to stop the move and all selling has been met eventually as you can sort of see it's it's in a selling a uh, high volume selling event it has to be measured against the future downtrend so actually we have a bit of a double bottom wider price trend is down and price returns to previous support let's make the second or third wave of a, um, of a double or triple bottom it actually acts like um, indicator uh, the bullish arguments for one and two we, we might on the second wave down to support on a downtrend we might see light selling we might see heavy selling that is absor absorbed go back to HL right well here's our selling climax having another wave down price does not take out the low as you can see this is a solid move down that volume has been absorbed there's no real change here when you see selling going on you want to see if the folks are buying it when that stuff has been absorbed there take some time it's not really a, a chance to go long but what you're trying to see is um, down move high volume event or selling climax selling going on but the truth is, is that um, buyers are absorbing this for future hope of higher prices Another example, uh, let's go through a few more examples, um, sort of in a random fashion. Here's Apple. I think the, um, oh, the climax might have been, what do you have to say? There's no, no real climax, but different lows there. Here we had divergence. Volume was. Um, not that it was pretty strong on the app, but not that strong because here you got to the 100 EMA. So this is Apple, sorry. We had a strong move up, uh, you know, 80%, 75% strength, and say not a true one to one move. Putters out on the 100 EMA, wanders down. Here, price gets to the 100 EMA right there. As you can see, it's not quite here on the indicator, it should be up this. It's pretty weak. Then I think a news event took it, uh, starts getting the um, Apple over the line. From that gap onwards, it accelerates on good volume. The trend is um, sort of hasn't really been confirmed. It sort of slows down at the plus, plus 15. Get a bit of selling. I think some more news comes in and carries it up here. This is pretty much a one for one move. This move here. As you can see, it wasn't really a one for one move, it was a um, strong price movement and less units down here. So, many unit, a good unit up here, but less units down here. So, it's weak now. We're seeing a bit of selling going on down here. Same here, we have uh, pretty much a one to one move up here. Strong selling, distribution started. And the um, price came in to pump prices high, but really. It was uh, less units in RT trip APV relative to price. Uh, oops. Pretty much a solid one to one move there. Weak bounce. And it was a pretty good move down to here. Getting lesser on the units. You can see here that price move quite aggressive down with the gap. RTT trend power still trending down. But actually slowing. And we'll go to Ford. So I hope these examples here um, give you more knowledge on how to sort of read Wyckoff volume log logic with price and waves. And the RTD trend power OBV. Back with Ford again. Here we had this massive swing up in volume here. Strong volume. 
it really sets up the indicator to be uh, powerfully bullish because it elevates the attitude trend power indicator to be quite high. And as price pulls back to the 100 EMA, it doesn't ever get down to zero. So we're really living off this um, setup in volume. When volume pushes the indicator up and the indicator remains high, that means the selling wave or the selling has not trumped the previous volume push up. And the sideways pattern here was pretty good for a while. We actually had um, sideways action that was being absorbed, then it broke. I think that was actually around Ben, ben, ben Bernanke's um, talking and all his games going on. So that was still pretty bullish. It was a bit of a one-to-one -one move down here. So yes, it was an average volume down. So it was getting a bit, um, you have to take note of that until a trend change actually happens. But then we have a move up. It's pretty weak. And yeah. Here we have a sideways pattern. And it's trending down hard. What actually was going on here is sideways. The bulls are holding it up. The selling was going on, that was being absorbed, but then it broke. The selling could not be absorbed anymore. It ended up being hard, a hard move down. And I think we're getting a bit of a bounce back. But at the moment, I sort of my conclusion is that this bounce back is a pretty unweak, pretty weak volume. And I'd be pretty nervous on um, sellers coming back in and pushing it down here. There's um, Price rounding up to previous support, which is now resistance. Be a bit worried about that. So those are the um, discussion of um, seven bullish examples. The overlying overlying factor is that when the price trend is up, we want to watch out for a one-to-one -one move on average, which is representing average volume going against you, because that is a determined. Um, process of selling stock if you're on an uptrend. If you're on a downtrend, you get a determined one-to-one -one move on the way up. That's a determined buying approach. So that's where you see determined accumulation and distribution. So just be aware where you get one-to-one -one moves of price and volume against you. I hope you learned um, plenty of detail about RT Trend to Power APV. It's a very valuable indicator. I find it very useful. Thanks for watching.